In a move aimed to prevent cases of public schools land grabbing, Dagoretti North Member of Parliament Beatrice Elachi has called on the government to issue land title deeds belonging to public schools in Nairobi. This is after concerns were raised over a piece of land belonging to Lovington Secondary School, which she alleged has been grabbed. I was a bit surprised to find I have a developer who has decided to put um, a boundary inside the school compound. And I really questioned and asked myself, how is this school now? Because uh, we are fighting a lot of land grabbers within Lavington. We have one, the other side, uh, where the booster is of Safaricom. And we have someone claiming that that is his land. Uh, when I got uh, the title of the school, the booster is in the school, and I still uh, insist to Safarico. It is important to pay uh, the school the way they've been paying. That is a uh, school land. It's not of a private developer. Already, the unknown developer has started the construction on the land. I would wish to find the owner who is developing behind us so that we can ask and, and try and, uh, and, and work together, arbitrate and ensure He's not in the school, uh, he's not taken part of school land. And so we will look at the title. I, I know I've been uh, looking for Nixon Corrine. He's going to assist us. And we see how we get, first of all, the whole school title deed is there. And you find uh, most of these houses are part of now the school. That's the biggest challenge. Uh, you find that the school goes all over next to St. Austin also, where it was also part of Lavington those days. And so the whole title will show you, and the whole uh, the deeds of the school will show you that the school is still intact, even if we have uh, people who have developed in it. However, the legislator has vowed to deal with the land grabber who she says has left students disadvantaged and without even enough playground. So uh, my, my, my plea to the government is that we need to sit down. We need to look at two properties, Lavington Primary and Milimani Boys Primary, uh, Secondary, and see who are the owners. Because when you go to put, even uh, if you try to fence, Milimani Secondary, the moment you step on those grounds, it's just open on position load, uh, road, you will find six Prados coming in. You'll wonder, in seconds, they've arrived. According to the survey done by the Kenya Land Alliance, KLA, it revealed that 70% of the public schools land risk being grabbed. As of November 2019, 70% of the 32,000 354 public schools operating in Kenya do not have title deeds. So the best thing is government to give schools of Nairobi their title deeds and so that they are able now to know where are our boundaries, how do we plan for the school. This is a, the only school that I have for girls now that can afford to take kids from Kawangwari. And so you, because most of the schools that I have here are national schools. So Kenya High, I don't have a class that I can even say is a sub-county class for kids to go there. St. George's, the same. Uh, State House Girls, the same. So there's no school that can serve kids who are coming from Kawangwa. In 2018, the government introduced procedures that will ease the acquisition of title dates by schools, but the move seems to have not eradicated the grabbing vibes.